And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, the Pine Ridge University is getting quite a widespread reputation. A number of outstanding people have been selected to receive honorary degrees from the school. And day before yesterday, Jack Benny called to say that he would be in Pine Ridge today to receive his diploma. As we look in on the little community now, we find Abner alone at the Jotham Down store. Lum is just entering. Listen. Come in. Oh, come in, Lum. Come in. Ain't been nobody in here looking for me, has he? No, no. I reckon what's keeping that fella? Supposed to be in here this morning. Who? Oh, a fella from the Kiwanis Club that was coming out here to talk to me. Oh, I thought maybe you're still looking for Jack Benny to show up. Oh, no, no, I give him up long ago. I think that was just a josh somebody's pulling on us. Well, you talked to him on the telephone. He said he'd be here today, coming to get that diploma in the Pine Ridge University. Yeah, but he called collect. If he's too stingy to pay for a telephone call out here, I know he's too stingy to pay his railroad fare clean from California. Yeah, yeah, well, there's reasoning, all right. Uh, who is this feller, Kiwanis? Are we going to give him a degree, too? His name ain't Kiwanis. He's coming out here to see me about a Kiwanis club. Well, what do you want with a club? It's a organization, Abner. Oh, my goodness. Are you starting something else, Lom? I don't know. He's coming out to talk to me about it. I think it'd be a fine thing, though, for the businessmen of the town here. Well, what's it for? Why, it's an organization. Uh, the businessmen of the town meet once a week and eat together and talk over the different problems of the town. Learns them to all work together for the good of the community. Oh, See, sitting down, eating together, rubbing elbows that way, and getting acquainted, uh, we can all work together. Some feller gets an idea that he thinks it'll help the town, he brings it up in the meeting, we discuss it, and if everybody's in favor of it, we all pitch in and put it over. Yeah, if we had anything around here that needed to be dead. Well, there's plenty to be dead when you're looking for it. Yes, huh? Well, here's a circular they sent me telling all they do. Look oh, here. Pretty picture there. Huh? Uh, underprivileged children, uh, vocational guidance. That's helping young people to choose a profession that they're best fit for. Ah. Uh. It's a fine thing, too. These fellas give the young folks the benefit of their experience in their particular business. Tell them a lot of things that taken them years to find out. Sure, sure. All kinds of boys and girls work. Uh, support churches and cooperate in law enforcement and safety measures and all uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's somebody coming in the door there, Long. Oh, well, maybe that's him now. Yeah. <laughs> well, come in, sir. Come right on in. Yeah, how do you do, sir? Uh, hello, is Lum Edwards here? Yes, yeah, sir. Th this is me right here. <laughs> Funny thing, me and Abner were just sitting here talking about you. I, I was telling him what fine work you're doing. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I Ab just came over. Abner had here to your outfit till I told him about you. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, here, here, sit down, sit down. Take this chair here. Uh, no, I can't stay. I Well, I suppose you know what I came for. Yeah, yeah, we got your circular telling us all about it. My circular? Yes, sir. I think it's a fine thing, Mr. Uh, Granny, I didn't quite catch your name. Uh, Benny is the name, Jack Benny. Yeah, that Kiwanis... Jack Benny? Yes, I called you Wednesday and told you I'd be here. Bill Morrow told me if I came down here, I'd get an honorary degree from your university. Yeah. Oh. What's he got on. to do with it? <laughs> That's a new one on me, yes, sir. Wait a minute here now. There's something wrong. Now, you ain't the fellow we heard on the radio now, for I'd know his voice anywhere. Yeah. You ain't well, him. Now, me. wait a minute, Abner. Wait just a minute. You understand, uh, Mr. Well, whoever you are. See, we've had a lot of folks trying to get these degrees by saying they're somebody they ain't. So, natural, we can't take no chances. Of course not. Uh, have you got anything on you to prove who you are? Well, I don't know. I, of course, I didn't expect anything like this. Let's uh, hear you tell some funny jokes. Yeah. Well, uh, well, a fella can't just think of one right off. Kind of got me in a spot here. I... <laughs> I got well, uh, did you hear the uh, did you hear the one about the Scotchman who made his daughter get married in the backyard so his chickens could eat the rice? 
<laughs> hey, that's a Lulu, isn't it? <laughs> Morrow told me that. Well, that's a Lulu. Huh. Hmm. You better quit listening to that Morrow. Have you got any other way of trying to... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Abner, get that fiddle over there. Yeah. Uh, right under the counter. Yeah, I'll there. get it. I'll get it. Of course, now, you might be Jack Benny. We ain't saying you ain't, but, uh, well, we've just got to be careful. Oh, sure, I understand. Uh, hey, you have a nice little store here. How much are those gumdrops over there? Oh, uh, ten cents a pound. Three pounds for a quarter. Hmm, rather expensive. Now, how much is that peanut brittle there? Uh, fifteen cents a pound. Fifteen cents. Well, let's go back to the gumdrops and haggle a little. I know that he's sounding more like himself all right, Mom. Yeah, why don't you try them jawbreakers? Them's just a nickel a dozen. No, thanks. With my teeth, I'll stick to the gumdrops. Huh? Uh, here's that fiddle, Mom, if you want it. Gumdrops stick to your teeth, too, huh? If you want this, I ain't That's worse than the one about the Scotsman. <laughs> Uh, sack the gentleman up some of them gumdrops, Abner. Now, wait a minute. None of this high-pressure stuff. I didn't say I'd take them. Oh. Well, here, now, you say you're Jack Benny. Let's hear you play this fiddle here. Fiddle? This looks like a dust storm with strings. <laughs> well, it's been under the counter there for some time. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, all right, all right. Well, you I'll stopped him. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Hey, it plays, doesn't it? I can play that good. <laughs> That's the same way you do play it. Yeah. Well, okay, well, I tune her up a little. All right. I get in and play for a whole down. Jack Benny never played that good in his whole life long. Yeah, I thought that'd catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Darn that dust. I know as long as you hear that. That might be Benny at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Grannies, wait a minute, Mr. Benny. I won't apologize. You're you if I ever hear you. <laughs> well, thanks, fellas. <laughs> Proud to meet you. Uh, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right, Grannies, I said that's enough. Get the bucket of water along. <laughs> Hey, would you like to hear something else? No. no, business is bad enough around here the way it is now. Quiet, Abner. Excuse him, Mr. Benny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, next time I come down here, I'll bring a bazooka. Bob Burns is the only musician you can appreciate down here anyway. Oh, it sounded fine to me. Shut sounded... up, Lum. Don't ag him on none. Yeah. I I'd be careful about reaching in that cracker barrel, though, Mr. Benny. Oh, I don't think I've eaten enough to hurt me. You know, when I was a kid, I... Ouch! That's what I was trying to tell you. We set a mouse trap in there. <laughs> oh, it didn't hurt. Well. Wait a minute. Don't eat that cheese off of there, Mr. Benny. I'll cut you a slice here. Thanks. Well, we've got everything settled, looks like. We may as well give you the diploma. Uh, see, I had a speech all wrote out I was going to make. Um, oh, well, don't bother. No. The harp strings of memory strike a tender chord as I come again. I'll get the bucket of water if you don't hash up, Mom. That's too well, much. Well, uh, whole thing biled down was that I just wanted to tell you, Mr. Benny, that me and Abner is awful proud to have you come all the way down here for this honorary degree. It's Well, thanks very you. much. By the way, what's this degree for? I mean, uh, what does it make me? Well, we heard about your fight with Fred Allen, so we made you the heavyweight champion of radio. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor of fisticuffs. Well, heavyweight champion. Maybe I'd better have a couple of more of these crackers. I'm a few pounds light. You know, I used to be right smart of a hand as a box fighter myself. <laughs> yeah, I was a champion of, well, champion amongst them that knowed me. Huh. Uh, I know one day I fit a whole logging camp once by myself. And then I was, another time, I was supposed to fight the Elks Lodge from Cherry Hill once, but they backed out. See, two or three of the members never showed up, and they didn't want to fight me without their full strength. No, oh, is that so? Well, say, maybe you could give me a few pointers. Now, not that I need them, of course. All right, Grannies, get the gloves, Abner. Yeah, get sure, I'll get them. Hurry now, up. Hey, now, let's take it easy. Not that I can't protect myself, but I think you better move that stove back a little. It might interfere with my haymaker. Now, uh, here, here, Abner. Uh, help Mr. Benny put the yeah, pair yeah, on sure, there. Yeah, sure, Slip your hand up. Yeah, just okay. just slip on. Don't yeah, have the time. Yeah, just... Easy does it now. Yeah. Uh, now, just stand right up here. Now, uh, wait, let's move out from under this lamp. I swing high. Well, I swing low. Sweet chariot. <laughs> let's go. Well, come on. Yeah, come on, get Hit started Hit me if you can fella. find an opening. Now, wait a minute. Will you please watch your mustache and the clinches? I'm ticklish. Come on, fight if hit you're him, going Mr. to. Banner, hit him, Mr. Hit him. Well, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't hit you with you just standing there. Gee, you gave me a diploma and everything. Oh, that's all right. Don't you worry about that. You ain't going to hit me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Abner, you better pull me off of him if I get to beating him up too yeah, much. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Come on, Mr. Benny, hit at me. All right, one for the money, two for the show. You look like Fred Allen, so here I go. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> well, I'll be dead blame. Gosh, did I do that? Say, I am tough. Hey, run out and get me a wildcat while I'm in the mood. Lom, Lom, get up, Lom. Don't go to sleep there on the floor. You get your clothes all dirty. Hey, Abner, wrap me up some crackers and cheese in that diploma. Let me get out of here before he comes to. Well, he's coming to right now. Well, I'll be seeing you. So long. Uh, so long. Uh, wait a minute, Mr. Benny. Ain't you going to take them boxing gloves off? No, it's kind of chilly outside. I think I'll wear them. Tonight, if I may have a word with our young high school friends, I'd like to clear up a possible misunderstanding. Perhaps when you've heard us say that many people nowadays are what doctors call nervous irritables, you may have thought we met only adults. But young as you are, if you have headaches or indigestion or don't sleep well, you might become a nervous irritable too. And, as so often happens, coffee nerves might be to blame. For while many adults can drink coffee with no harmful results, you young people never should. And so it's our belief that the young person can't find any better mealtime drink than Postum. Because Postum contains no caffeine or stimulant of any kind. What's more, you'll have a hard time finding a mealtime drink that's more delicious. For Postum has a mellow, full-bodied flavor that's both tempting and satisfying. And when made with milk, it's very nourishing. A good way to drink a full quart of milk every day. So don't endanger your schoolwork or sports program with a drink that might affect your nerves. Enjoy Postum. See how you'll benefit when you make your regular drink America's favorite training table drink. Wholesome, full-bodied Postum. Next Monday evening again, at this same time, Postum brings you Lum and Abner. Meanwhile, a happy weekend. Good night. Lou Crosby speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.